spending water here. Today we're on an adventure to a place called Rindi. Um, it's in the south part of Malta, near a place called Zuri. On the road to Zuri, there's the Blue Grotto, and then there's on the left is Zuri, near the temples, megalithic temples on the on the right hand side. This is uh, the parish church, completed in 1720s in Baroque style. You can see how beautiful. We're going to have a walk around though. Uh, there's another place here. The, really, the reason I came for there's a bit of an adventure of a sinkhole. It was in the 1600s, I think it was. Um, but I'll give you more information when we get there. It's just a little bit in the village. Okay, let's have a walk around. I'll show you the different styles. Here you can see straight away, very impressive. It's changed a lot though. It's more modern buildings coming on the outside, but in the center, in the core of the village, it's still you see a lot of history. Let's walk around here. came down from Rendi village. I'm going to show you this place in Maluba. Uh, it's a sinkhole from the 1300s. I think it was 1340 there was a massive storm and the whole thing collapsed uh, leaving a whole 50 meters diameter. Uh, it's got various folk tales about this. I'll tell you one when we get down there. Today it's been raining non-stop all morning but now it's brightened up a lot. Still a little bit cloudy so maybe we find it a bit uh, a bit sludgy and slippery down there, so I'll take my time. Come with me, let's see what we find. Here till sure he raju now, for il passati raccontao, which da anel col chaitira. Col hat ya tiao, for she disgrazia li con jarra. Min y raconta, ken she tam, tishi basharra. Col filo du story at the hid at this mas go. Fil hanu tal canto nira. Yeah, you can see it's quite, quite wet down here. Um, if you if you come to the road to Arlapsi, going towards Blue Grotto, take the signs for Rendi. You see the sign for this. Uh, there's a a very big chapel here, St Matthew's Chapel. Uh, only open on special occasions. Yeah, you can see it's quite quite wet down here. This is the first time I've been to this place. 
come down these stairs from it. The chapel is just on the on the right hand side there. Okay, let's keep on going down. Now it's going a bit wet here. Oh, you can see there's so much water was down here. I think this is uh, the water that comes all the way down and it gives a good water supply to the whole area. Uh, quite a few mosquitoes as well in this area. They say that there's uh, a lot of trees here that's uh, indigenous to mortar, that's very rare. I wouldn't know about these sort of things, but it's been here from a long time ago, from 1300s. Uh, here is some... Oh wow, yeah, this is really impressive. You can see it's like a whole cavern going down there. This is far too slippy to try and get an adventure to go. But it seems like it's quite, quite well organised there. Whoops! <laughs> it's a little bit slippy, guys. Oh yeah, this is really impressive. This is 50 meters diameter. good fun to get down there but how you could get down there um, the crater is 50 meters circumference and about 40 meters deep and um, there's a legend about this this was a village here on the top you can imagine on the top of it that around the top there it was a really evil village of the whole all of Malta in the 1300s they hated this village and God gave them lots of warnings he said sort yourselves out guys as I'm gonna do something like you do in the 1300s now oh, they ignored him eh? they didn't take any notice so one day one stormy night he sent a raft down and exploded and blew the whole village up in pieces and went down 40 meters the rocks travel so far some say that's how Filfla is formed Filfla is a small island just a little bit over from Blue Grotto when you go into the caves of the Blue Grotto you see Filfla and when the tour guide tells you that how this is formed you tell them no, I know different. I know how Phil Flo was formed. A little bit slippy, but... Ah, worth a visit though. This is a perfect nature reserve. Because nobody gets down there, so... I would imagine there's lots of things down there. And this is the perfect time of year now. We've had a little bit of rain. This is about the third lot of rain. So things are growing really good after the summer. that a little bit of adventure 
I'm going to do some every week a video. I had a short break just uh, after the summer. It's beautiful here. The temperature not too bad. It's around half past three now. I'll try and get out every Wednesday. Um, get some adventures, go to some uh, seaside places, show you what's happening in water. Okay. Take care. Hope you enjoyed it. I've got another channel. Um, I'll leave a link below. Just some recipes of uh, different foods I'm cooking. I'm just putting it together so it's early days. I hope you go over and give it a subscribe for me. Thanks a lot. English Money Mortar. Nice to see you again. Take care. Hallim Haptin